What is going on, Serial Progress Seekers? Ben Atkins here, and I hope you are having a great one. Today, we are talking podcasts. So over the last little bit, I have been working on a podcast called Serial Progress Seeker. Thank you to each and every one of you that have listened and have given feedback and have had questions. You guys are absolutely amazing. Today, I wanted to answer a specific question that you have been sending in, and it all has to do with the podcast and the art. How in the world do you get really good podcast art, even if you're not the most artistic person in the world? Well, that's what we're gonna be covering today. So let's dive in, let's get started, let's do it. Mm, all right, so we're back, and now we're gonna be talking about podcast art. So one of my favorite podcasters out there is a person that's been doing it a very, very long time. This is a guy by the name of Pat Flynn. And so when I wanted to start my podcast, that was the guy that I was like, I have to do it like Pat does it. Because I think Pat does a lot of things really, really well. The first thing that caught my eye was Pat's cover art. So when you do a search for a podcast, and especially in a certain category, you see all these folks that are doing podcasts, and it just seems like some of them pop out off the screen more than others. And Pat's was one of those. So I wanted something that had the same effect. So today I wanna to show you exactly how you can create podcast art that pops off the page even if you're not a great designer. So when people are searching for your podcast, they're gonna see that something that looks absolutely professional and draws them in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hop back over here to the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So let's jump in, let's do it. Okay, so when we first get set up, we're looking at this screen. And this is after you've signed into Canva, it's something you can use for free, or if you wanna pay a little more, there's some extra benefits, but overall it's pretty cheap considering this is something I use almost every single day if I don't wanna go through the whole rigmarole of using Photoshop. So Canva is great because it gives you a bunch of pre-set up designs. So you can see all kinds of things like Facebook posts, Facebook ad, all kinds of good stuff here. Now for our podcast, what we wanna do is we wanna jump down here to the blogging and eBooks section. And we're going to use this CD cover. This is gonna be the size that we're looking for. So we're going to click into here and it's gonna give us a bunch of pre-done designs that you can do that it thinks you wanna do, but we're just gonna start completely from scratch. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over here to background and we're gonna click on something that's darker, okay? So you can see that my picture over here for my podcast, this is something that was definitely modeled off of Pat's because Pat's looks great. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over here and we're gonna start with the black background just like we've got here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to this little element section here and we're gonna look for shapes. And with this particular shape, this is pretty much the one that I'm using all the time. So I'm gonna use this twice here. First, I'm gonna have this one and I'm gonna change that to white. So we've got a nice white bar here and that's what I'm gonna turn it into. And I'm going to take it down the side of the screen just like what I've got in my podcast picture. So from there, we're gonna do another one. We're gonna click this again. And this time we're going to put it up here to the top, take it down just a little bit. We're gonna make this just a little smaller and we're going to stream it across like so. From there, you just make it the color for your brand. So whatever your brand happens to be. So I'm going to use Serial Progress Seeker Red, as we call it. Okay, so we've got a nice base here, but we still need to come up with something cool. So with this point, it would be, hey, what's your brand? What are your colors? And you can decide that. But let's go ahead, let's put the text in place before we get really in depth with that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add a heading. And with that heading, we're going to call it we're just gonna say serial, okay? And I'm gonna drag that up to here. Now we can edit that in just a second, but first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take that, I'm gonna select this text and I'm just going to copy it. Now you could go over here and just add a new section here, but I'm just gonna copy it. So I'm gonna call that progress and I'm just holding down the caps key so that we've got that. And this is all going to be something that we're, is very useful in a minute. Let me actually spell that right, there we go. And then we're gonna copy this one more time by clicking on it and then clicking copy. And then we're going to put seeker. Okay, so that's sort of the base. Doesn't look real great yet, but that's a start. Okay, so from here, we're going to change the color. So I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna go up here to the little color wheel. 
and we're gonna take that to black and then the bottom one to black too. I'm just trying to get some color variation in here. Okay, so that's a decent start. So now we're gonna start playing with the fonts. So this particular font, I want something that's a little more bold, okay? So something that's a little more bold and you can definitely go in and pick whatever it is that you really like that works for you, okay? So whatever works for you, go in, rock it, don't worry about what I'm doing, but you get the idea. So what I'm gonna start with is, I'm just gonna start with, let's say that we can use this, okay? So this is not the font that I normally use, but there you go. Now I'm gonna go in and with this still selected, I'm gonna click up here so that we've got our font right. Okay, still I'd like it to be a little bit bigger so that it's bigger on the page, okay? now. If you reach the end of this, you may think, oh, that's as big as it gets. But what you can do is you can actually go up here and type in a number two and it works just as well. So I've now typed in a number. This is gonna be 150. So down here, I'm gonna select you know, this bottom one and I'm gonna probably try 120 here. And with this one, I'm gonna make it the same font as we had for the top one. Now, to me, I like these to sort of be the same length. So I'm gonna have to do some guessing here. So I'm gonna say 135 because that's a little bit longer of a word and I guess pretty close. A little bit longer of a word than that. So we've got that. Now we just wanna select in between. So what may happen is you may have trouble like I do sometimes actually getting this thing to where you can select the thing that you want. So just move this out of the way a little bit, select that. So from here, we're going to say, let's make this 64, okay? Maybe a little more, let's try 72, pretty darn close. So I'm gonna select a different font there. So I'm gonna do Railway, and that's gonna bring us pretty darn close. So we've got that, got that. We're gonna drag this up. We're gonna drag this up and not, not too shabby. So from here, you can search into their images. And so we would just wanna pick some sort of logo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select, let's just uh, come up with anything. We're gonna select illustration here and I'm going to say person. So I just want a person for my logo. And let's just say that uh, we wanted this and this is not our logo, obviously, but there you go. And now we've got this little person over and anything that sort of goes with your brand, my brand being backpack, it's good. Okay, so from here on out, what we're gonna do next is we're going to add in a little more text. So the idea here is, is you're building slowly on top of every little element and then at the end, it's all gonna come together. So let's get into it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back to the text and we're going to say with, and so this is gonna be where you sort of come out. In this particular font, I want it to be more handwriting looking. So with this, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna find one that fits the bill. Now, just so you know, with this particular font that I used is that, okay? So that with is that. Now, if I select this and I actually wanna rotate it like I've done there, you can actually just kind of grab it below once you select the text, okay? So we're gonna have that set up there. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna copy this. Now, you may say, hey, this I looks like it's blending into the T. You can actually go to spacing here and go to letter spacing, and you can space those out if you want to. I think we're probably pretty good, just like that. Okay, so then I'm gonna select this, click copy again, and I'm just gonna type my name. And I'm gonna do, kind of a space so they can go down here below. Now you can change the justification up here. Like I can do go this way, but I want this to be centered. Now, the only other thing is I want this to be much bigger than the width. Okay, so that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do from there is I'm gonna go up to spacing again. And this time I'm gonna do the line height. So that this kind of comes in closer. And now because we copied this one, it's already rotated. So I'm gonna take this and I want this width to be a little smaller. So down to 32 and now we're pretty darn good with what I'm after here. Now the last thing is, is we want to put in a picture, right? Kind of get that picture in there so that we're, you know, started and set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to layouts again, actually we're gonna go to elements right below layouts. And from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to frames. And inside of the frames, you got all these frames that you can throw a photo in. Now you can always just throw a photo on top of anything, but then, you know, we're gonna go with this. So I'm looking for the circle, none of the complication on the borders. You can do whatever you want though. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this over to the side. And that's where my 
face is gonna go in a minute. Now, you may have noticed on my logo, there's this weird, if you look really, really closely, if you you know have that HD monitor, you can uh, look at this and you've got sort of this background fencing. Okay, now how that's done is we go to search and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put like fence or background something. So I'm gonna search for fence just to sort of make it easy and you know I'm looking for something that looks like this now some of these are free that you can put in there and some you have to pay if you're using the stock image so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'm gonna put it here okay so what I'm doing right now is what I want to do is I'm actually gonna stretch this out a little bit so that it's a little bigger now I'm gonna go ahead and go through the entire screen like this and that looks pretty bad right now let's just be completely honest but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're going to actually fade it out. So we're gonna click this little button up here, it's the transparency button, and we're gonna fade it out so you almost can't see it. And then while it's still selected, we're gonna hit arrange and we're gonna take it all the way back to the back. The only thing that it's not gonna be behind is going to be the actual background of the image. So we've got it back there. And you may also be saying, well, Ben, it's cool, but like, you know, it doesn't really hit uh, the very, very back. So I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna copy it. That puts another one up. I'm just gonna drag that all the way down to the bottom and I'm gonna help myself line it up there so that we can get it lined up with what we want, okay? So we're gonna do this. And once you get it sort of lined up, you'll get it. And like I said, if you needed like another, you know, sort of attachment to that, you could always sort of blend it in, things like that. Or you could do like what I do a lot of the times and just do that, or you can always copy it again. So that's a start. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is you can upload a picture. So here's a picture of me real quick that we've already uploaded, but you can upload image, just any image you got just by hitting the upload images. So we're gonna click that in, puts it on top of the whole thing here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drag that into there We've got this now the black and white let's say you want to do that so while we've got the photo selected we're going to jump up and hit filter and now i'm going to go over all the way over here and i'm going to select the street option and that gives me something that's a little dark there but you get the idea now this isn't perfect you can definitely get more dialed in with this but this gives you the ideal setup of how i pulled everything off here so that's how you can put together a pretty cool podcast cover using Canva in a very short amount of time. And if you've spent a little more time actually digging into the details, you can get something that looks a lot better than the example I have here, but you know what, not too shabby for the time we spent. All right, so I hope that helped you get your podcast art together and it's something that's super helpful for you. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell button too because that's gonna notify you every time we push another one of these videos live and hopefully these are helping you quite a bit. All right, I will see you next time on Serial Progress Seeker.